Okay, so I'm going to be uh, talking about the Community Art Initiative, which is a program that I and some fellow medical students have been working on for the past year. As a brief introduction to kind of the intersection of art and medicine, this has been around arguably since the 14th century, uh, but it was really kind of reinvigorated uh, in 1984 with Roger Ulrich. Uh, who published this first paper on the surgical benefits of putting the, a post-op patient in a room with a veal. Uh, and since then, uh, largely from the 2000s, people have been investigating this largely through qualitative work, and they found a no number of cognitive benefits, uh, effective decreased distress, decreased anxiety, depress uh, depression, a lot of benefits with pain as well. Uh, so what we've been doing this last year is we've uh, formed a partnership with the Metro Arts uh, Nashville kind of municipal government uh, and then the Nashville Public Library where they have a collection of 60 pieces of art that anybody in the community can check out. Uh, so what we do is we've been going over to the physical rehab hospital where we connect with patients who would be interested in checking out art. We facilitate uh, the checkout process with them using a digital tablet where we show them the collection of works. They pick it out. Uh, we then head over to the library. We get the art, we come back, and then we hang up the work using command hooks. Uh, don't, don't tell OSHA that, though. Uh, and then we end up recollecting it about 24 hours before the patient is uh, discharged, or if they are transferred back to our main hospital. Uh, well, we're still in the kind of pilot phase or we were in the spring. We weren't officially collecting data uh, without an IRB. Some of the patient testimonials that have been published through other mechanisms uh, include, it was the prettiest thing I've ever seen in my life. It made me feel like somebody cares uh, was beside me. I looked at it and made me feel at ease and at home, which everybody needs. And I won't bore you with other uh, quotes, but you can read them if you'd like. collection at Vanderbilt. Uh, we are running two calls for artists right now. One is through funding through the AAMC, uh, through all medical students across the country, uh, kind of expressing their interest in art and also their kind of uh, their development into a physician. And we're also the second call is for local artists in Nashville, uh, ex their experience with healthcare. Uh, we're looking for over 75 works. We're currently at 65. So we're getting close to our goal. Uh, mostly featuring landscapes and abstracts, uh, but a little bit of animals as well and still lives. Uh, well, I think this is a really kind of important opportunity that we can kind of re-envision what type of art is typically displayed in the hospitals. Uh, traditionally, it has been mostly landscapes. Uh, and this is also another opportunity to kind of feature work from artists that aren't typically displayed in the hospitals as well. Uh, and then once we have our uh, collection established at the end of September, we are going to try to launch uh, the first of its kind uh, randomized controlled trial. Um, we're largely going to be looking at uh, effective benefits through PROMS. We're going to use a custom mental health profile that's going to look at sleep disturbances, uh, depressive symptoms, anxiety, uh, your sense of self in the world. Uh, we're also going to be looking at trust with their physician and then also do patients uh, and actually enjoy the room more with art in the room, which I hope they do. And that's what we've kind of experienced. Um, yeah, so that's where we're kind of at right now. Uh, we're looking to expand and we've been really excited about the program. What uh, questions do you have? All right, do we have any questions from the attendees? I'll give you all a few seconds to send anything in. All right, well, we do have one question, Matthew. Um, somebody asked, did the patients feel the art selection options were adequate? That is a really good question. And usually no, um, largely because that this was a community-based effort. We didn't want to pull most of the pieces away from the library. And then because people were checking out the, uh, the 60 uh, available works were usually limited to 15. And it was the last 15 that people had not checked out. So what we were doing is why we're very adamant that we want to have 75 works and we've been very deliberate and curating what they look like. 
so patients will always have an adequate selection and that also when any individual piece of work is checked out or not skewing the data by only having 10 available at any given time. So we've given that a lot of thought.